All right guys, so today you will find us camping or going around Glacier National Park and Mount Rushmore. Uh-uh. Today we're gonna interrupt your regularly scheduled program to talk about something else. Because there is no footage being shot we did, in national we, parks. Oh, uh, why? Now, well, you can shoot it. It's just back and forth in the court system right now as to whether or not you can share it on social media, YouTube channels, now, places that you potentially could make money when from When we it. shot this video, we were allowed to because the courts finally said, yes, you can shoot video in the national parks. I got ready to upload that video and now they're saying, <laughs> no, again. you can't. So we have all this footage of all of this beautiful time in Glacier National Park, but you're not going to see it. <laughs> And, and and let's be real, you you can shoot it and, and you can put it in videos, but you had to get a permit, which you would have had to done beforehand. And, and we didn't do it because we were allowed to shoot it. Beforehand, you didn't need it. So here we are with our dilemma. So we have the footage. We just can't really do anything other than use it for personal use at the moment. If they change their mind, we'll, we'll show you the video. video. But we can tell you because... It There's was no amazing. Yes, you need, you need to go to Glacier. Glacier was beautiful. We definitely want to go back when we can spend a couple of days. Um, Mount Rushmore was pretty cool. Mount Rushmore was those ooh It was yeah. beautiful. It was neat. It was it was. But well, we've been there now. We've yeah. done that. Uh, Glacier, we will do a return trip. And we wanted to go to Yellowstone, but our schedule did not allow time enough to do that. So perhaps when we go back to do Glacier again, we can do Yellowstone. So instead of that video, which we had planned, let's talk about Hershey. We're going to talk about Hershey because we are on our way to Hershey next week. Um, a lot of people are excited about Hershey. They want to see the new floor plans. They want to see the new vendors. They want to see the new, the new, the new, the new, the new. So the question is, are you coming to the show yes, in Hershey? We're going to the show. Not you, them. And if you are coming, I'm interested to see or to hear why you're coming. Are you coming to see the new floor plans? You're coming to meet the vendors. You're coming to. Are you coming to buy a new camper or just browse? Because we did that for you know we've done that many times. Just gone to the show to browse. We're not buying a new camper this trip. Just gonna browse. Maybe. No, 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 no. We're <laughs> not buying a new camper this trip. But who, who has been to Hershey and who hasn't been to Hershey? And there, you know, there's two, the two largest shows are coming up. You got Hershey and you got Tampa. Which ones have you been to? Have you I've been, been to any both. of them? And which ones did you like better? Which one did you get more, more out of? The Hershey show or the Tampa show? Spoiler alert, there's a new fusion floor plan. We weren't supposed to say that yet. I'm not showing pictures. I'm just saying it's out there. So you'll have to come check it out. So let us know, are you gonna be there? We're going to be there. We have a couple of meet and greets coming up, so make sure you're following us on our social platforms. We, we will be letting you know where we're going to be, what times we're going to be. Right. I think right now we have one, two, three, maybe four of them. We have planned a couple right planned. Now. We just haven't narrowed down the times exact, so I don't want to put it on the video and then not be where we're supposed to be. So all of our social media platforms are below, so you can click on either one of those. If you're not a you're not an Instagram ter person, you're not a YouTube Maybe we'll person. even do a live. Though on the days that we're there, we can do a live that morning and say, "Hey, we'll be here this time today." Um, so that'll be fun. Do you want to tell us about about the show? How much? Well, when? I want to. We've said this before, but it always is worth saying again. For those of you who are new, <laughs> thanks for being here. And these are these tips are for you. For those of you who've been here before, welcome back. Um, we're glad you're here, and we hope those that are new will stay. But a few tips for any RV show, but especially one of the magnitude of a Hershey or a Tampa that are so, so big. I'm gonna start off by make sure you wear, just like we told you in Tampa, comfortable shoes. And it's comfortable a lot of walking. clothes. Like right now, and I know weather changes, but right now they're calling for a possible rain on Wednesday. So come prepared for that, whether it means a rain jacket or an umbrella, or maybe you just like to be wet. But the um, low 80s, so that seems like a pretty good. Be prepared for, you know, it could be warm, it could be hot, it could be cold. We've been to Hershey. They've had the heat on in the campers for, and they've had the air conditioning yeah, on in the campers. It, for all different weather, but I know rain is possible at least one day, so keep that in the back of your head. Um, comfortable shoes are a must. Your flip-flops might be cute. Those heels might be cute at the end of the day. The heels were really cute on me last time. At the end of the day, your feet will thank you for just wearing whatever's comfortable, regardless of what it looks like. And always, always, always have a plan. 
you know I'm a planner. We're planning now. Um, I will tell you this year, Hershey has an app and it is called, I think it's the largest, now I've lost it, it's the largest RV show is what it's called. Be prepared. Um, That's what she just said. Yeah, well, and I was prepared. I was looking at the weather. That's what happened. So their app, and I'll continue to fumble and get it up. So it's the 53rd annual America's largest RV show, Hershey. But that's the app. Kind of looks like that. Um, there's all kinds of cool information on here. Everything from the food that's going to be there, the vendors that are going to be there. And by vendors, I mean manufacturers. I mean... Um, campgrounds people that sell camping chairs and sewer hoses and power cords and trailer hitches and all anything the things. and everything rv will anything be there. rv uh even and some more. things that won't like usually there's a scentsy booth sometimes pampered chef the your lady norwex, with the purple stuff norwex where she's clean in jewelry norwex will be there so there's all kinds of things um that will be there but on this app it has a list and it kind of has like a Checklist. A checklist, a to-do list is what they call it. So you can go here and you can see a list of all of the vendors, all of the manufacturers, all of the everybody that will be there. And you can create your own little to-do list. And then once you create them, you can check them off as you visit them at the show. And you can pull up a map on here so that you can see where they are in relationship to one another. So now that we've been planning you already. You can plan that's, your trip. That's so how she knows how which which buttons to push. I already have. I still don't know exactly which buttons to push, but I do already have a to-do list that may be bigger than I'll be able to make it to. But I'm going to give it a whirl. Uh, and something that it also has is weather, which is kind of cool just remember on your to-do list once we put out where we're going to be make sure that's on your to-do list to come visit us come meet us because we want to see all of you guys that are coming to hershey we want to see you at all the the partners that we have and the vendors that we we work with on the mobile showroom so when we put it out there and tell you exactly where we're going to be which is going to be very soon on the social media platforms once we get everything lined up make sure that is on your list so you can come see us and let me also say we will be at different booths, so we might say we're going to be at the Moride booth this day at this time, or at the Fusion, um, of course we'll be at Fusion, um, this day at this time. But if you see us walking through the show, please step in our way, wave, hey. speak, get our attention, now, and introduce yourself to be us. Be real careful with her, because today at the grocery store, she was checking off her list like this, and I thought she was going to run into a couple people. So. When she says so again get in front of me when she says me, stop us put your hand here and be like hey yeah, she may run into you so because i have my app and i know where i'm going to be going so but please stop us and introduce yourselves because i enjoy that almost as much as the show probably more than the don't show don't forget it, she loves the selfie probably pictures. more than the show because i like to just meet the people because i think it's fun we're trying to see how many selfie pictures we can take of you guys out there so so when we meet you we maybe will i'll even do my hair for you we, we will snap a photo Maybe. with you. Today's a hat day. Um, and we will post those throughout the, the week while we're there. So let's get down to some important stuff. So the details are, it's at the Hershey Show, so it's in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It is at Giant Center, which is right next to Hershey Park. So if you're familiar with the area, Hershey Park is open be. too, so you can, you can actually But I think go, just on the weekends, Hershey Park yeah, is so open. So you can go to the park if you want one day there while you're there. Parking is free which that's a that's a plus um the lines can be long to get in very very long so we always get there early um but last year in the middle of the day there were people that were waiting in line for like two hours which they is left. absurd they left and people that had bought their tickets and then left because the line was so long and and that seems a little contradictory because they bought their tickets but they got on the line which brings me to tickets must be purchased online and once you wait in that long line, when you get all the way to the front, there is metal detectors. So make sure you Leave empty your pocket your pockets. knife. Leave it in the car. Pocket knife, I think, is the biggest thing I've seen people carry. Because people you. forget they have it. It's their pocket knife, and they keep it in their pocket. You're either throwing it away it. or going back to your car and, and waiting, waiting in that, that long line. Again. line. So don't make, make that mistake. sure you don't have that little pocket knife in there. So Wednesday, September 14th through Sunday, September 18th. Those are the dates for the public to come to the show. Now... Pricing is different. Well, before you get to that, also, as you're walking up to the line to get in, they're not allowing animals again, unless it's a service animal. 
I don't know the rules and all the stipulations on it, but I know they have to be in some kind of crate and some kind of whatever, just like last year. So if you're gonna bring your animal, make 100% sure you read the rules on that because there's nothing worse than carrying your little dog all the way up there or Daisy all the way up there. And when we get there, they say she needs to be in a crate or you just can't come in. And, and let's be real folks. You. If your dog's in a stroller or you know whatever, like a lot of the little dogs, they're probably very comfortable there. But Daisy's there were, not comfortable in a stroller. Daisy would not like that. And there were a lot of people there last year that had some crazy contraptions to carry their dogs around. Like they had, I don't know, like a wagon, but with a crate in it and just all kinds of stuff. And let's be real, your dog is probably gonna be miserable. So leave the puppy at home if you can, or- It's hard, I know for us full timers, sometimes it is hard to leave your dog inside for hours and hours and hours, but- But sometimes there's like doggy daycare nearby, yeah. or I think there's a kennel nearby that does by the day. So those are all things worth checking into if you have a pet. Just um, a heads up before you just walk a heads all up before the way you up wait there. in that huge long line to get up there so and send you away. don't bring your dog up on his leash and don't have your dog carrying your pocket knife. Those are your two no-nos that you're not going to be able to carry in there, so. Yeah, it's, it's just not going to happen. Now, let's talk about tickets because tickets vary in price depending on the day you come and depending on the time of day. There is no pass for the whole show. And depending on when you purchase them. So it's kind of a little game. They have to be purchased online and then you can show them your, your email ticket um, at the gate and they can scan it or you can print it if you have a printer handy and you can print it whichever is more convenient for you they don't really care but Wednesday through Friday if you purchase your ticket prior to the day you come to the show it's twelve dollars if you wait till the day of it's fourteen um, if you come on Saturday though it's gonna be a little more in advance seventeen at the door nineteen and Sunday, it's only $8 in advance, 10 the day of the show. But they, they do offer it. This is, I, maybe this has been a thing before. I've just never paid attention. They offer a twilight pass. Did you know that? Yes, after four or five o'clock. After three. three. He was close. I know, after I, three. I, I, because it gets busy after three. You start well, so, but listen, it's available, the purchase, let's see, available for purchase online the day you plan to attend. And it's only $7. So maybe you're working or maybe you just don't want to be out there when it's hot. Or you want to be, I would think in the evening there'd be fewer people. Seven dollars. So that's not maybe a bad deal. Or you but can get a three day pass. Or you can get a three day pass. So now that's not going to be the weekend. So yeah, so sorry. there's the trick to that. You you think you're getting a deal. And and I mean I guess that is discounted. Three days in advance twenty-five, the day of thirty. But that would be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday is not included in that. So there's that. And then discounts for seniors. You Thursday, get that now. no, no, 55 plus. Oh, not there well, yet. we're getting closer. So for seniors and veterans, Thursday, September 15th, seven dollars in advance, nine dollars the day of the show, and veterans the same thing. Thursday, September 15th, seven in advance, nine the day of the show. Now there is a note here about veterans, valid veteran and active mili active duty ID required to get the discount. So. So you must carry your ID. I'm going to just throw that out there. So there, the parking is free, which we said. There is, if you bring in your camper, you can camp there, but it's not free. You and can. I'm going to tell you what. It's very not free. Let me just tell it's you that. It's very, very, very It's expensive. literally in a parking lot or a field area, so no services, which that's cool. We're okay to boondock. It's like $60 a night. Not me. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but that's way, Who wants way, to pay $60 to sleep in a parking lot? Way out of my to boondock, lot. basically, like in a boondock, like, oh, yeah, in a parking no. lot or in a field somewhere. So That doesn't you know, give you the free tickets or that doesn't give you... But it is in. an option if maybe you didn't plan or maybe last minute you're coming. Well, I'm telling you, a lot of people are saying the campgrounds are full campgrounds right Campgrounds are now. full. So if that's what you've got, it's what you've got. And, and you can definitely do that. And I, you, I think you just pull in there um, and they will tell you where to park. It's usually, I think, across the street in that grass I lot. Don't know where it is. So anyway, that is something that you can definitely do. Um, but if you know ahead of time, go ahead and get your tickets purchased, get your ticket in your email so that you have it to show when you get there. Um, and get there early if you don't want to wait in line. That's, that's probably the best advice this is our two best our two favorite times of the year um, this in Hershey and Tampa we love going to Hershey and Tampa we love meeting all you guys we love seeing all the new products all the new the new floor plans of 
all the yep. new stuff. This is it. It's all. And you know we're big fifth Hershey. wheel toy hauler people, so we still always go in and look at the big class A's and go ooh ah. We might one and day I one of those. always have to go on a pop up because we had one one time, and they've come a long way. They're still pop ups. She so saw a pop up so far, just yesterday, just today online that has heated. Heated, heated mattresses. Heated. Ours did not have that. When it was cold, it was cold in those beds. So, so it's always good just to walk through there again, just to fun. kind of see what's new, what is coming out. Because you never know, you might somebody, meet somebody in the campground that says, I'm looking at a pop-up and you can have a little bit of information and say, hey, we know now there's heated mattresses. So we, would, we guy, wouldn't have known that. He keeps talking about wanting to get either a van, one of like four wheel drive that's you know lifted up a little bit to get to those places that we can't get with this big joker 45 here. foot gets kind of hard to get off road and up hills and down. But last year he found one of the, um, in the bed of your truck campers. It was like stainless steel I don't know what or whatever. It was super, super expensive. So I'm never going to get up my fifth wheel. But you already have the truck, so you could use that instead of having to buy How many of you guys have those? Should I go to one of those and try to go way off, way out somewhere? Would it be cool just... though? Because you could just put it in the back of the truck. So if the truck would get there, you'd be So if you're, if you're following good. us around, you've seen some of the boondocking places and the harvest hosts we've gotten to see, the, the views that we have seen over the last two years traveling. Just think where I can get without that big 45 I wouldn't foot want to live in it, no, but no, I'm, I'm just saying, like we 400 could park square foot's this, big enough, small enough for us park to- Park this somewhere, and then like for the weekend or something, go to one of those places or a few days. Yeah, I think it would be fun, but it is a lot of money, but- So check out those areas. I will you may, check those you may out find when us we're, in there, when we're there, sticking our head in there and looking around over there. So, um, but yeah, Hershey is a lot of fun. It is a lot of walking. Thank goodness it's gonna be somewhat cool. We think there might be a little bit of rain. Carry some water with you. And um, I don't think I said hours. So I know I said Wednesday through Sunday, but Wednesday nine to eight, Sunday nine to five. We so. will not be there all day Sunday. No. So if you're looking for us on Sunday, we will be hitting the road. We're yeah, going we're, to we're, our, we're, we're headed to our meetup down in Pigeon Forge. So we still have some openings in Pigeon Forge. So, so if you're, if not you're signed up, sign you're up. You're not signed up and you're in Hershey, you have time to make it down to Pigeon Forge because we're leaving Hershey and going down there. So there's no excuse to say, we didn't know. We couldn't or, get there. Or it's too far of a drive. You can get there. Um, and if you need more information, just comment below. It's on all our social media, but I will gladly pop it up there again if, if somebody's interested in coming. Um, and it's just going to be a meetup where we hang out with other people that are camping. But we will have some goodies we to give away. We have a lot of prizes again. From a lot of vendors. So there's always that. Free stuff is good. And especially when it's RV stuff. So check that out. Hmm. And food. Food's going to be incredibly expensive. Yes in the show so bring a snack bring your lunch bring water um water is a big thing you, you want you, and there's water there but let's but the line again, sometimes the lines be, are 15 20 minutes well, long it's to gonna get be water. probably for a water what Four you could pay for a I case think. of bottled water at the i think store. it was five dollars for us but you had to wait 30 minutes by that time i was thirsting to death yeah so there's that um if there's anybody that you think you want to see or if there's any questions you have for us about maybe something that we have on the rig that you're thinking you want to see in person um we will be camping at the thousand trails in hershey but you know it's just going to be evenings probably that we'll be there Late um evenings. but if it's a product that we have or use and those people would be at the show we're happy to discuss that with you and direct you to them and it may be somebody like we'll be at the moride booth if it's moride you know we can tell you when we'll be there so double whammy you could come see us and we can meet you and you can check out the products. Um, if it's a Fusion, the same thing. And even if it's not a Fusion, but it is of course a Keystone product, we could probably steer you in the right direction. So make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, because if they ever release this where we can put out our National Park videos, I want to show you the National Park videos because they were just, they were it just, was so it was pretty. breathtaking out there. And um, I'm pretty sure you need to um, click that button so that if we throw lives up when yes. we're there, you'll get a notification that we did it. Otherwise, you'll miss it. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you're liking us, make sure you're following us around, all social medias, because we're going to be posting on every single yep. one of them. So any questions you have, you know what to do. Just comment down there below. We, we, we do answer every post. It might take us a day or two, but we do answer every question, post, comment, whatever it is. Whether you know, we're getting some of those now that aren't the best. We're getting some people that aren't necessarily nice, but I try to be nice back anyway. So let us know where you are, and we will see you guys in Hershey. Hopefully we'll see you at our meetup after Hershey. Or maybe on the road along the way. But anyway, until you find us camping, guys. Safe travels, y'all.